Welcome to my weekend vlog. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay Soderberg and this weekend we are going to Nebraska. So we're going to visit my friend Amanda and she goes to school in Lincoln and Claire is coming with us too. I'm gonna go meet Claire in Des Moines and then from there we're gonna drive together to Nebraska. I don't really know all that we're gonna do. I think we're gonna go to the football game because um, Nebraska is playing tomorrow. And yeah, we'll probably just enjoy each other's company and catch up because um, I haven't seen them since I've been home, obviously, because we've been at school. So super excited and obviously I'll take you guys along with me. So let's do it. Was a smile for you to capture me You got me turning around so I can ask your name You know I never knew that I could feel this way Well, oh baby, you're just like an angel You're Something from the devil Even sweeter than I could have imagined Well, you are <laughs> 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 just left Amanda sad hate goodbyes like we had a, a ton of fun we were only there for a day it felt like yeah because we got there Friday night and then we're leaving now and it's Sunday morning so we were really only there like all day Saturday um and last night we ended up just 
staying in and hanging out and like catching up. We went and got ice cream, which you guys saw. And yeah, it was just good to spend some quality time with each other. And now to pass the time on the drive home, Claire and I are going to just chat with you. <laughs> First, we'll do a little intro about Claire. So I'm Claire, me and Lindsay went to high school together. We met from dance team, right? And that's where we first met. And I guess ever since then, we've been best friends. Okay, so we'll do like a kind of deep dive on our friendship because it's kind of fun to talk about. Yeah. Um, and then we'll get into, I asked you guys on my Instagram, if you don't follow me, go follow me at Lindsay Soderberg. I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask like questions that you'd want to know about from Claire and I and like things we could talk about. So it looks like it's going to rain. Anyway, it's kind of funny because like Claire said, we met in dance team and Claire and I, we like when we became friends, we like were kind of opposites. Yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> like, not that we like didn't get along because we like did. Yeah. But like we were just more opposite. <laughs> like we just low key butt heads, I guess. Yeah. Um. So we were like always friends throughout dance team and stuff, but we really got close. I would say like senior year. Yeah. Or junior. Junior year. year. Junior year. Yeah, junior year. We danced together, so I think that helped our friendship get to know each other, like, in that way. Because, like, when you're on a dance team or any sports team together, you see them, like, obviously with teammates, like, you see them in strenuous situations, and you see how they respond to, like, adversity and how they handle, like, challenge and stuff like that. And so I think that's when Claire and I, like, really, like, formed our, like, friendship in, like, a deeper manner was because we were in like a lot of like tough situations together we were like going through it all together yeah and yeah it would always be claire and i to be like you, you got this like i don't know we always have been cheering each other on even from the start like with dance so then after graduation and stuff that we like that whole like mentality of I don't know, cheering each other on and stuff like that kind of translated into like our friendship outside of dance yeah Anyway, now our friendship. We don't go to school together, so Claire goes to school in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And I go to school obviously in Iowa, so we don't see each other most of the school year when we're at college, which sucks. But So we definitely keep up on like FaceTime and try to know what's going on in each other's lives. But it's yeah. not like we talk every day, which I think is like okay. Because I think a lot of people... Um, when they're going to college, they get concerned, obviously, that their friendships won't last through college. And so they try to overcompensate by talking every day. And that's not always needed when you have, like, true, genuine friendships. Like, you don't have to talk every day. So some of the things that Claire and I literally love to do together, number one is obviously take workout classes. <laughs> we love taking <laughs> workout classes like I don't know what it is about us I think it because it brings us back to like the inner it's, teammate like yeah. cheering each other on like yeah we just love it that's for sure it's like from our roots so literally like, we love that yeah so definitely working out together um but if we're not working out we like going on the boat we like going for walks doing pretty much anything outside yeah like going to dinner getting a sweet <laughs> Claire and I have the biggest sweet tooths <laughs> tooths teeth Teet. sweet teeth <laughs> we just love the sweets more than the average Joe I would way say way more like every meal must include a sweet yes it's just, and we egg each other on for it yeah, so it's awesome we will never end a dinner without a sweet <laughs> true also we like talk about cooking and recipes <laughs> Grandmas. We are grandmas sometimes. We like talking about our plants. Yeah, our plants. <laughs> our books. Our books. <laughs> yeah, we love sharing book recommendations yes. with each other. First question is, have Claire and I grown apart in college or like how have we navigated transitioning our friendship from high school, like a high school friendship to like a college long distance friendship? Well, first of all, I would say no, we have not grown apart in the slightest. If anything, we've grown closer together. Agree, yeah. Um, because we were actually talking about this last night, but we were saying how proud of us we are, mm -hmm. of like, us for going and kind of branching out and going to different colleges, because 
you know, sometimes you see the friend, high school friend groups going to the same colleges, yeah. and sometimes that doesn't always turn out as best as you would imagine. Um, and since we've been going to different colleges, I feel like it's allowed us to reach out and meet new people, but also learn more about ourselves. Learn more about ourselves, we which didn't in have turn, each other. We didn't have, like, yeah. I feel like when people go to college together, like, with their best friend, let's say, like, it kind of limits you in some cases from, like, branching out and just doing whatever you want to do. Like, yeah. because we were both in our own situation, like, it wasn't like I had to get your approval to, like, be friends with who I am friends with now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that, like, in itself, like, has helped each of us grow individually to be, like, more ourselves. Yeah. And then from that, our friendship it has... turns to our friendship. Yeah. And our friendship our has friendship. grown yeah. through that. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have gotten closer, like, with ourselves. Like, because obviously going to college, you, like, learn so much about yourself and, like, just become more and more authentic as the years like go on so for us i would say like that has helped our friendship because we've yeah. grown individually like though claire and i do have similar interests we obviously have like different like personal endeavors i guess but it's like knowing that it's never out of jealousy so like what like we were talking about last night like when sometimes best friends like go to college together it like becomes like this jealousy thing like oh you're hanging out with like more people than i am or you're doing more stuff than i am blah 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 and it turns into like this jealousy thing yeah but I think like for us it's never a jealousy thing like I know like you genuinely like want the best yeah. for me and, like obviously same for you and we have like different endeavors so it makes our friendship very supportive so like we mentioned Claire and I like first met in dance so we were on the da high school dance team together so one of the questions was what was our experience with dance team versus studio dance so for those of you who don't know like dance team is through the high school and then studio dance is kind of like a club sport where you do it through a company versus like through the school if that makes sense okay so we both did both studio and dance team at some point so we'll just kind of talk about our experiences and like yeah. from that you can take of it what you will I don't know so you can start. Okay, so I did both dance team all four years of high school and studio since I was like super young. Um, I did studio all the way through high school. Um, so I was in both of them throughout my high school years, which I think is kind like a lot of people do it, but also a lot of people like choose one. Choose one yeah. after a couple years, but um, personally, I like loved it. I couldn't have imagined my, like, high school any other way, um, because both studio and dance team taught me so much, and, like, different things, I would say. Yeah. Like, dance team really focused on the, like, teamwork and, like, Just pushing like, hard yeah, and, like, using grit and, and, and yeah. like, yeah, determination, kind of, like, like, life skills. Yeah. Never, like, giving up on your goals. But then, on the other hand, studio kind of taught me to, because, okay, backtrack, for reference, dance team is very, like, you're a team, you're trying to look as similar as you can, and, like, yeah. you're trying to be very in sync, like, all look the same. Studio, on the other hand, is way more, like, artistic, and more, like, you can be you, individual. Yeah, kinda. like, be yourself, and, like, what makes you unique is beautiful, and, like, that kind of stuff, right. like, so it's kind of different in that aspect, so... On the other hand, studio kind of taught me to, like, always be yourself and, like, kind of play to your strengths, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Because I would say in studio, everyone has their strength. Like, and they, like, I was, work like, to them. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was definitely a tapper at studio, so, like, tap queen. <laughs> so they would, like, use... I don't know how to explain it. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moral of the story... I love them both, and I'm so glad I did both because they all taught me different things, and it is possible to do both studio and dance team. Don't let anyone else tell you it's not because it is, like, yeah, it's time management, it's knowing when you can do stuff, but when you have dance, like, for reference, I would go to dance from... Dance team from 3.30 to 5.30 every day how did, after how school. Did and then right after, I would usually start studio around 
6.30ish till 10. And then I would go home and eat dinner. <laughs> it's so crazy thinking back to that because like, jeez. So like people hear that and they're like, there's no way that's possible. But like, it is somehow. You just do it. You just do it. And like, you love it. Yeah. So kind of to bounce off that and I'll go into my own experience with that. Um, if you love it, that like makes sense. But if you don't love it, it will not make sense for you and you'll know. So like for me... I did studio from like the time I was like super super little to freshman year and then freshman year I did both like Claire for one year I did studio and dance team keep in mind Claire and I danced in different studios too so that is a factor uh, but I did both for one year because I didn't want to like quit one and try the other like without seeing which one was like more for me or like maybe they were both for me I don't know so I tried one year of both and it was very clear to me that like my heart was like more with dance team and so at that point like you just have to honor your feelings like you can't force yourself to stay in both and it's also very individual like that's the thing with like that time in your life like you're usually in middle school and beginning of high school when you're like making these big decisions on like yeah. do I do dance team do I do studio that whole thing and it's hard because like those years like they're so formative on like you as a person because you're so young like and in middle school like you value you tend to value your friends like what they're doing more yeah. and you take that into account which obviously yes like you want to be with your friends I understand it's you're you're like at that time in your life when you're like really like loving spending time with your friends and that's great but you also at the end of the day have to do like what makes sense for like you and your feelings and like how how you feel at one place versus another if there's something in your mind that's like clearly this I'm unhappy when I'm here like it doesn't leave me feeling good like I'm not excited to go back like those types of feelings like definitely acknowledge that and take it into account when you're deciding like if you want to do studio dancing both whatever just be aware and then if I mean like for Claire like if you love the entire thing like don't let anyone tell you you can't do both like do both make it work like that's like I would say in my life the first time I had to make a decision that like was authentic I had to pay attention yeah. to like what I was being told like in my own heart because like I said like you look to your friends at that age to like what they're doing and I had friends doing both I had friends quitting both like I just had friends kind of all over the map so then I really that was like the first time I remember in my life like looking inward and being like okay what do I want to do yeah. And then Talk I did that. The yeah. It's definitely individual. So I would just say, like, it's awesome to, like, take into account, like, what your friends are doing. But at the end of the day, it's, like, your life and your high school experience. And, and this is for, like, yeah. any sports. Like, yeah. if you're deciding if you want to play your sport in college or, like, it's yeah. anything like that. Yeah. This can be applied to, I mean, pretty much everything. Like, yeah. at the end of the day, it's your life and, like, your friends that are meant to be in your life will be. Because, like I said, Claire and I, we didn't do studio together. We did dance team together, but, like, that, I mean, it's not like our friendship was solely based on that. Like, we both did our individual things. So, yeah, that is my spiel on that. The next topic is how we transitioned from being a dancer to now just, like, our overall fitness, like, venture. So... You probably follow me so you know like my what I do for fitness now but like I'll let Claire talk about like where she's at with her fitness like journey right now just so that you guys have context yeah I guess growing up in high school I danced many hours every day so I was never like in the gym working out because I did not need to like strength yeah well <laughs> strength <laughs> in the summer we don't talk about that um but yeah, like there was not a need for me at all to be. In but the maybe gym. describe where we started. Like, we couldn't do a push up. Oh no! Like we could not do a push we up. We could not like, do. It. I couldn't bench the bar. <laughs> like we, you have to understand the like, level of like where we started. Like we could not do anything. Like yeah, we were dancers, but like we were dancing like, strength though was different, different then. So like we didn't have lifting strength. Yeah. So anyway, continue with your story. I just wanted to add yeah. that piece in there. Yeah, so anyways, was not in the gym during high school, um, and then college came, and I was actually on the dance team for my first two years at college, so with that, 
we were practicing less than I did in high school. Um, so I did start going to the gym. I just went to the gym at school. Um, and then at home also, I w would work out a lot. We have a Peloton at home, so I would ride the bike a lot and just do like those classes. And during COVID is when I started taking sculpts with Sydney. Shout out Shout to out. Um, And she really got me to love sculpt. And ever since then, I've like still been doing that for the past, what would that be, a year? Year, year and a half. Yeah. Since so like that's March like, 2020. Yeah. Basically. Like I would say that's one of like my pivotal fitness yes. moments. And like to this day, it's still one of like my favorite fitness activity. Yeah. Is what you <laughs> call it that? And then this summer, I did Orange Theory a lot. Um, and then was still would still work out at home, do the Peloton, sculpt classes with Sydney amp classes Bit, a lot of group fitness group fitness yeah like that's like even when you're that's on your what peloton I love. it's yep. like group it's fitness. so group like i still have a teacher telling me what to do and like yeah i can go to the gym and do a lift and think of my own thing but that's just like not what i love and like mm -hmm. that's not what gives me like good en energy like i love like being in the community but like moral of the story group fitness is my love love yes so to tie it back in now with like how we got to this point through dance because i would say similar love group fitness i took up more of a lifting situation after high school but um same kind of deal like we both transitioned into like just working out and including fitness in our everyday lives like i think both of us that's something that we like made it a priority to make it a part of our days and like making sure we set aside time for ourselves every day like no matter how busy life gets like it's important to prioritize like your your self time and that doesn't need to be working out like if the time that you want for you is like reading a book or like taking a walk like it doesn't need to be like going to do a workout but, like for us that's how we feel like kick starts like our self-love moment every day so um yeah we definitely both like in incorporate that into our routine which i think has been helpful with that transition because dance was so much in our routine like that um and then i would say dance like the things that we learn from dance we just honestly wanted to keep applying them somewhere if that makes sense yeah. so like with group fitness especially you can see it clear as day like you're working hard for something you feel the team aspect you're pushing like your boundaries like all of those types of things that we like did in dance like for the like mental aspect of it we can apply yeah and like when we're in group fitness together like we're cheering each other on just like we did when we were in dance team and i feel like my heart yeah <laughs> yeah i guess i would say that it's gonna take discipline at first because in high school sports you have your schedule you know when you're practicing every day and that's a given like it's not gonna like change yeah and, um, like you have to be there if you're not you get in trouble, but in college you can do whatever you want with your time Like yeah. no one's gonna come and be like you're going yeah. to the gym right now Like no one's like you're like there's no one's no, gonna make you go. Yeah, there's other no, than you. Yeah, there's no set like yep This is when I have practice and if I'm not there coach is gonna make me do this like no You have to like if you want it for yourself You have to bring yourself to do it yeah. every day or however much you work out yeah once you kind of get past the first month of it in your yeah. routine then it's even just a, a part of your routine, routine and it's not like it's not really even a question then yeah because then once you stop once it's in your routine and then you stop doing it you'll be like oh my god like i miss it like i need to do that to feel better yeah. that's how i am anyway yeah. like you know, you're kind of similar yeah i will say too one of the things that claire kind of touched on when she was talking earlier like do something that makes you happy because if you're forcing yourself, like if Claire were to force herself five days a week to go to the gym and do a lift, like she would probably not work out yeah, at no. all if that was like the only option. So she like found something that worked for her, which is like group fitness and sculpt and cycling and stuff like that. And that makes her happy. So like if you're like forcing yourself to go do whatever, like maybe you want to be lifting, but you're forcing yourself to go do cardio, like you're going to hate the gym yeah so find something that makes you like really happy to do it like if that's lifting if that's just going for a run outside um or if that's like group fitness like claire whatever find something that like you like to do because yeah you'll like grow to resent the gym if you're like forcing yourself to do something that yeah. like you hate 
Okay, I want to end this little chat today with Claire by just giving one general, like, friendship advice that, like, we think will help your friendships through the transition from, like, high school to college or college post-college, like, whatever, I don't know. Um, just general friendship advice that, like, we think is good. Um, and I would say for mine, it's that the more that you become you and the more that you work on yourself the better off your friendships are like if you are like working hard for yourself and pushing like yourself to continue to grow your friendships will like continue to grow as well it's when one person in the friendship stops growing and then the other people grow beyond them that the friendship no longer makes sense if that makes sense so yeah my best advice to like help your friendships grow is help yourself continue to grow because then your friendships will flourish yeah i like that thanks i think mine when you're at school college really make the time however many times a week once a week twice a week yeah to facetime your friends text your friends from home like Sometimes I get so caught up in the college, like, Eau Claire life, like, I'm running to class, and I'm going to go to F45 to work out, and then I'm doing this, and this, and this, and like, I'm, like... life gets crazy. Yeah, life gets crazy, and then you think, like, when's the last time I, like, reached out to Lindsay to ask how her day was, or, like, just little things like that, and checking in, because it really does, like, brighten your day, I would say, when, like, you hear from your yeah. hometown friends, or just, you get to FaceTime for an hour at night to catch up, like... I don't know. So I guess my advice would say to just not get too caught up. Hoping you reach out to me. <laughs> Same. Okay. <laughs> um, Clara, tell the people where to find you on Insta so that they can follow you and hype you up. Okay. You can follow me on Instagram at Claire underscore Olson with two N's. Or you can follow like, my lifestyle fun account at lifestyle of CEO. That's my initial as well. So. She's just a CEO, guys. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully you thought Claire and I's chat was entertaining. We love talking with you guys. And thanks to those of you who um, asked us questions and put ideas in the box on Instagram. Like I said, if you don't follow me, go follow me at Lindsay Soderberg so that next time when we do some Q&A chat thing like that, you can put your input in there and we can talk about what you guys want to hear. And... Yeah, thanks for coming along to Nebraska with us. We had literally so much fun. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. And we love you. Okay, bye. It's the lullaby straight till the morning. Oh, how we keep it going. This love is only moments, girl. And you know.